Rob Nelson here for this weekly podcast. Now, if you haven't figured it out already, I am a nature and a science filmmaker. I like to go to wild places, but those wild places happen to be shrinking in a large part due to the human population getting bigger and bigger. So when are we gonna run out of space? If, and, or when? The world's population. Now to understand this question, you have to understand a couple of things. First, you have to understand how populations change over time. And specifically then, you'll have to understand it with humans. But before we get into humans, which can be kind of a difficult topic to talk about, let's talk about something a little easier to grasp, something I studied, fish. So this is my fish tank. Now, I constructed this whole tank about two years ago with these guppies in mind. Now when I started, I only had two guppies. And those two guppies had about six babies, so it turned into eight guppies, which means it quadrupled its population. In six months, those babies grow up to a point where they can start reproducing, and that means it quadruples again. In six months, it'll quadruple again. And so that brings us to where we are right now. And there's a lot of guppies in the tank, and they're starting to fill it up. So what do we do? Well, I have to worry about the health and happiness of my guppies. They don't have to worry about food because I feed them as much as they want. And they're not gonna have to worry about predators because Haley won't let me put a predator in the tank. But what I'm concerned about is their waste. They're starting to fill up the water. So I had to get two new filtration systems just to make sure that they're healthy and happy. At some stage though, these guppies are gonna fill up the tank and I'm gonna have to get a new tank for them to keep living the way they are right now. Now in many ways, our earth is a lot like this fish tank, except we can't just go get a new earth if we start filling this one up. So what do we worry about? We worry about water, food, disease, fossil fuels, just to name a few. Now we are at the stage where we can step back, look at the big picture, think about where we've been and where we're going. Turns out about a month ago, Jonas's grandfather turned 100 years old. Unfortunately, he passed away this week, and so this video is a little bit of a tribute to him. We also found out this week that Haley and I are having a new baby. That means we're gonna have another little baby. So how will the life of our little baby be different than Jonas's grandfather's? Well, let's see. In 1913, when he was born, we had yet to pass two billion people in the world. We hit two billion only in 1927, then three billion in 1960, four billion in 1975, five billion in 1987, six billion in 1999, and seven billion in 2011. And by the time our little youngster reaches 12 years old, there'll be eight billion people on Earth. Now the thing we have to figure out is what is the population going to be when our kids reach 100 years old? Turns out the United Nations have some predictions and their curves look like this. The high estimate passes 16 billion and the low tops out at 8 billion. But the question is when will we run out of space? I couldn't answer it though, and nobody else seems to know either. You see, the best book on the subject, How Many People Can Earth Support, doesn't answer it, nor does it give a guess. So I don't feel so bad leaving you hanging. So what are your thoughts on human population growth? Well, leave them in the comments below. And of course, this video is way too short to get to all of the topics of human population growth, so you don't even need to tell me that there are a lot of things I didn't get to. So we have a couple more videos that you should check out that I think you'll enjoy because they deal with some of the issues and resources that we'll need in the future. And of course, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel because we release videos each and every week.